Right. What's up, everybody? It's that dude, Supreme Decisions. And yes, today I have something interesting for you. Because for whatever reason, well, actually, I want you guys to take a look at the scenery I'm out here. You have your boy out here at Pinewood Movie Studios. Yeah, Pinewood Movie Studios. This is actually part of the area where they actually... Um, not only film, but they have the actors and actresses and their people stay at. But, I'm not acting, so I don't stay here. But today I actually want to talk about it because when we're talking about actors for the state or actors in government, one of the things that a lot of us hear is the right to remain silent. We have the right to not be compelled to be a witness against oneself. Well, today I was sent a video. I don't know if the audio is gonna play because it didn't earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it up, probably right here. And it depicts a young man who's being compelled to give an ID in which we know that the only time that someone is required to offer an identification is once a police officer articulates a crime. Now, what happens in this is this young man asked a question. Police officer gave him instructions to leave. Well, we also know if there is no con no crime, a police officer giving you instruction is a Fourth Amendment violation, according to Terry v. Ohio. But the thing that got me was the fact that aside from the Fifth Amendment issues, aside from the Terry v. Ohio issues, is someone being arrested and being forced to identify and people not knowing its law or not knowing the law, which is why people are screaming about defunding, which is actually not the correct term, but more importantly, retraining and restructuring the current policing system is because there's one little thing because we talked about the supreme law of the land and today i'm going to give you one that i spoke about a couple times and it's malloy v hogan 378 us 1 and it's a 1964 case yeah 1964 yeah that's a few years ago so what it does, it protects a defendant's Fifth Amendment privilege. No, I say that privilege. privilege. Okay, I'm gonna get into that later too. Not to be compelled to be a witness against themselves was applicable within state courts as well as federal courts, overruling the decisions of Twinning v. New Jersey. Now, you often hear me talk about that police will sometimes use a Supreme Court case, not in its entirety, or even in its proper application, which was the idea of Utah v. Strife. But in this one, they're forcing identification without articulating the crime, which is required of them by law, and then they're looking to compel you to do something, and then they're creating a criminal act, because why? It's not about crime. It's not even about the criminal act. It's about control, it's about intimidation, and it's about revenue. That's why we have an issue in today's society. So, keep that in mind. Put it up here one more time. It's Malloy v. Hogan. So, join the channel, support the podcast, buy your t-shirts. And Supreme, out.